Once upon a time, atop a jagged, desolate mountain, dwelt a lonely demon named Azaroth. His crimson eyes pierced the veil of night, always fixated on the village that lay nestled in the valley below. To Azaroth, the village resembled a perplexing maze, and its inhabitants, whom he considered to be his friends, seemed to be the prisoners of the maze. For centuries he had watched as the villagers wandered endlessly through the twisted lanes of their confounding settlement. They were like lost souls, trapped within the labyrinth of their own creation. Azaroth yearned to free them from this torment. But he was a demon, feared and despised by mortals. He did not know how to help. One fateful evening, however, as he gazed upon the village, a glimmer of hope flickered in the distance. A small fire had ignited within the maze-like streets, and panic swept through the villagers like wildfire. Momentarily, the villagers came out of the maze to escape the fire. Azeroth's heart swelled with a newfound determination as he saw this. This was his chance to make a difference. So, at the nightfall, under the shroud of darkness, Azeroth descended from his mountain perch. He approached the village cautiously, carefully not to reveal his infernal form. In the cover of night, he kindled a fire at the heart of the maze. Flames danced, casting eerie shadows that stretched and twisted through the alleys. As the fire raged and smoke billowed, the villagers awoke to a nightmare. Confusion and fear overwhelmed them as they tried to flee the burning village and out of the maze. They were no longer entrapped by the labyrinthine streets. Desperate cries and shattered spirits echoed through the night as they fled their once enclosed prison. Azeroth watched from the shadows, hidden from their terrified gazes. He knew that he had done the unimaginable, destroyed the very place he had vowed to save. But in their disarray, the villagers were free. They had escaped the inescapable maze of their lives, and for that, Azeroth felt a strange warmth inside him. Tears of relief and gratitude streamed down his demonic face as he whispered, I have helped my friends. The demon, who had once been feared and shunned, now found solace in knowing that, in his own unique way, he had brought salvation to those trapped in the village's twisted grip. Azeroth returned to his mountain, his crimson eyes once again vigilant but no longer burdened by despair. He had become the unlikely savior of a village, turning their cries of despair into cries of freedom. And for the first time, he felt happiness in his heart, a happiness born of sacrifice and redemption.